Fox 5 News, live in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. And Australia's leading makeup artist is here in the studio. You're looking at some of the models right now. He's going to show us how to correct the three biggest makeup mistakes. Stay tuned to catch Napoleon Perdis. Ooh. want to shake <laughs> welcome back everybody it is 8 44 no shaking going on this time ladies listen up this is for you we are all victims of it and at one time or another you know makeup faux pas but don't worry we're going to help you out today australia's leading makeup artist napoleon Perdis. do you like the way i say that i love the way you say that thank you he's here to show us how to fix those faux pas okay napoleon thank you guys you all look kind of good, at least halfway decent, and you know what I'm talking about. We're going to tell you why I said that. Napoleon, start us out here. The makeup faux pas, I see the, I mean, it's obvious for our first model here. A lot of people try and do smoky eyes. Yeah. But it looks like a raccoon eye. <laughs> you know, so what I wanted to show you is that you could use very soft color to create a little bit of smoke and a little a bit of sensuality. Okay. Not trying to go too dark around the eye area. Okay, Napoleon, I'm going to keep talking. We're having some audio problems here, so tell us your name. Meta? Okay, well, thank you, Meta. So you're saying the raccoon eyes, when we try to go smoky, we're not Napoleon Perdis, so we don't know how to do that. So we should just kind of go soft around. We're looking at the left side of uh, Meta's face right here, and that is the proper way to do the makeup. And I think all of us have been victims of that, especially if we have our makeup on during the day and we begin to sweat and it starts to just kind of droop down, right? Okay, and so go ahead. I'll let you finish explaining. That's right. I mean, just giving you a really beautiful definition, just in this kind of area here, which is below the socket line, and a nice lining in the under eye area, allows you to have like a really beautiful, defined, sensual, smoky, that works under all light conditions. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're going too dark, you can have it drip, you're right, and right. you can have it move, yeah. and it becomes really messy. Whereas this is a lot more sensual, really work the mascara. Oh, very you know? good. Work it, girl. Work it, work, work it. it totally. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's move on to our next model here. With our next model here, you know, the big mistake is women not making sure that their foundation blends into their neckline. And that's kind of hard to find. It's, it's taken a lot of women years, Napoleon, to find the right foundation. Yeah, because people often don't know whether to match it to their neck, right. their decolletage, mm -hmm. their facial features. I always say, give a little bit of warmth, but match it right into this area here where people focus on your face. Mm -hmm. And then it'll blend into the neckline, blend into the hairline. And you're not going to get this kind of skid mark, as I'm calling it. Like, it's just a total skid mark, not beautiful. You know, accentuate the cheekbone, give a nice feature, keep it nice and soft and natural. And you, you know, have that's great all cheekbones, by the way. Very yeah. nice. That She's looks really good. They're beautiful. Okay, now, coming down to our third model. Now, this is what concerns, I think, a lot of people. Women of color, in general, have a hard time finding the right makeup that matches our skin. I've heard, you know, we find foundation that leaves orange. Uh, and for our darker complected... Uh, women, it's harder to find that foundation that matches without making you look chalky. That's right. That's why I'm in Saks today and tomorrow my executive team is in Saks here in Las Vegas, Saks Fifth Avenue. And what I'm doing here is it's dressed with our instruction lips where, you know, not only do we get the colors right on the skin and match to customize with all skin color, but also making sure that the lips work within the boundary. You know, they're not kind of floating. There's a beautiful liner. They're really accentuating. You know, women of color are very exotic. You want to bring that out, really bring the eyes out. I've worked color to show that you can, you can play with color. You can have fun with color. Bring out the cheekbone and again everything just kind of blends in beautiful and her lips are just ever so beautiful in the end I add a little bit of lacquer just to give that real bounce you know of light off the lips mm -hmm. so everyone's just looking and being amazed and we want to be uh, very amazed at our pouty lips right mm -hmm. pout your lips ladies it's okay <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Napoleon Purtis, you're going to be over at Saks Fifth Avenue. In fact, that's the only place we can find your line, right? Can we? Well, I think we have the information up for you, but uh, you're going to be over there. How long are you going to be there today? Exclusively with Saks Fifth Avenue we are, and uh, I'm there all day today from 11 till 5 in the afternoon, and tomorrow my executive creative manager, Dawn, who's here with me, mm -hmm. will also be there as well, customizing total looks for every color, every skin condition, every mood you want to achieve. Very good. Napoleon Perdis, number one makeup artist in Australia. Thank you so much. Ladies, you all look, well, half, <laughs> wait, great. You guys look good. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for joining us, folks. And by the way, Napoleon, he smells really good too, Andy. <laughs> thanks for telling me. I know. <laughs> Appreciate it. That's kind of you. All right, we've got some developing news we want to get